Okay, and what is your name and what is your job? First Sergeant John McKim, I'm Army Instructor for the Nokomis JROTC. Okay, interesting. How long were you with the Army? 24 years. Okay, I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions about stuff that went on in the past then. Alright. Okay. Do you remember um, Elvis Presley when he died? I do. Uh, Fort Sill, Oklahoma came to a standstill. Really? I'm serious as a heart attack. All the units had mass formations to announce his death. Soldiers were just so overcome with it, they uh, couldn't go back to work. Like, for real? That I'm, affected the soldiers that much? Was for that real. Was that a hit? He back, yeah. Oh, yeah. The oh, wow. Closed Fort Sill down. <laughs> wow. Wow. So, you being in the military, um... 79, the Iran hostage crisis? Yep. Do you remember that? Oh, yes. Uh, let me see. Uh, they were the hostages. That was also the year Ronald Reagan was elected. And he had promised them if the hostages wasn't released by the time he became president, he was coming to get them. And if you watch the inauguration of President Reagan, you'll see somebody whisper in his ear right after he took the oath, and the whisper was, the hostages have taken off. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. What do you think about Reagan? Probably one of the greatest presidents we've had in my lifetime. Yeah, I've heard a couple old people, like older people say that. What made him, like, great? St straightforward, cared, didn't, didn't milk things down with politics. Of course, we all know all presidents have politics, though, involved. You know, there's agendas that are going to live. But it was just like the speech of, uh, to Gorbachev to, to bring down the wall in Berlin. That was the start of the whole thing of the de-escalation of uh, the Cold War. Uh, he was a big portion of that because he started the talks with the Russians on that. Uh, so yeah, quite a president. My mom would like to say to me like all the time, some policy of his was uh, trust but verify. Yep. Like with some countries, he'd be like, "All right, I'm going to trust you to do this, but just in case, I've got my button on, or my finger on the big red button." Well, here. and that's what he was telling Iran when he became uh, when he became president. Either you release my hostages, the hostages, or I'm coming to get them. And they took off right after he took the oath. <laughs> so yeah. That's awesome. It is. So like um. 83, was that part of Reagan's term? Yep. Um, 240 Marines killed by suicide bomb in Lebanon. Were you around for that still? 1983? Yeah. Yeah, no, that wasn't Reagan's term. Uh, who was that president? I could forget which one it was. Yeah, I was there. I was what was there. that whole thing about? Terrorists <laughs> and our military letting their, their guard down. Perhaps I would say we were in the wrong place. And I still say we're in the wrong place. So is that what you thought about uh, the invasion of Granada, too? Granada was a waste of our time. A little stupid what was it island. About? Oh, it was a little island, just with a bunch of idiots on it. You know, we so. went over and captured all their munitions, and it went away. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Granada wasn't even a war. So what, was that just like a terrorist threat or something yeah. that we had to neutralize? Yeah, we just, well, we did, I, you know, the, my belief... We stick our nose into a lot of people's business that we don't have no business in. Um, Desert Storm, we had business. That was a country that was taken over. And yeah. people were being murdered. Our objective was to free them, and we did that. Uh, Iraq, we went in with good thought. Big mistake. We're still there. Now that all the combat troops have left, what do we got? More terrorists, more bombings, more hits. You got the terrorists infiltrating the police and the soldiers that our guys are training with, and they turned around and shot six of our guys the other day. Uh, you've got this uh, Ayatollah guy that back uh, or the sheik that just came back in, has been in exile in Iran. He was ahead of the terrorists during the bloodiest part of Iraq's uh, war with uh, the Iraqi war, and now he's part of the cabinet. Really? This was on the world news wow. just the other night. Okay? He's back in Iraq, and now he's made a deal with the president of Iraq, and he's on the cabinet. This is the same guy we ousted. 
So why did we even bother? Why did we bother? Somebody's got to tell me this. Why have we got thousands of soldiers that are wounded for the rest of their freaking life and, and uh, uh, untold how many were killed over there, how many billions of dollars we spent, and they've just made partners with a terrorist? Yeah, it does sound kind of stupid. Let's go to Afghanistan. What are we doing there? We ousted the Taliban. We left. They came back in. We went back over. Now we're trying to oust them again. We're let, they're selling opium. The, the, the Afghans and Iraqis sell opium worldwide on the market. How many millions of dollars have we pumped into Afghanistan and how many lives have we lost there? Uh, it's a war we didn't.